<laughs> hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Combat. I go by Combat New York. And I've been in the FGC for around two years now. And I got my big breakthrough in MK11. So, you know, just waiting on the next game. I'm excited for whatever is next. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a guide for you guys on how to play against Kano. Kano is probably one of the best characters in terms of stealing your life bar in around two seconds. So knowing how to play against him and knowing what to do in certain situations will definitely help you, you know, not be put in those situations. So I'm going to be going over his weak points, his gaps, and how his play style is, variations, etc. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the guide and learn from it. Shout out to Dash Fight. As always, they hit me up for this guide, which I appreciate. And if you guys need more guides from them and all things FGC, just check out their website. Appreciate you guys for watching, and let's start. Alright guys, so right off the bat, I've highlighted all the moves and slash special moves I think you'll need to know how to fight against Kano, and if you'd like to play Kano, this is, these are his main moves that he uses. Some of them are variations, but I will get back, uh, I will get to that later, so don't worry about that. Um, right off the bat, these are his main buttons. Forward 1, alright I put it right. Forward 1 is the main mid, it's uh, plus 1, it's a really good button, goes pretty far checks people and it's just a really good button in general is that one is pretty good seven frames has good range on it um is one one string this is this is plus two but it does have a fall as well gap but it's a good stagger etc so you know if you want to go for maybe an auto shimmy i'm not sure if his is real but if you would like to go for a shimmy you can you know do it like that to bait out a, a tech um forward one like i said is a pretty good but his sweep is really good it's you know minus four low and it hits really far from like this distance really good button um what else he has like i guess his stand one is a good stagger down one is a really good button basically the bread and butter of kano is you do want to use forward one i'll get to the string and then you do want to use you know mix up his down one and then use your down four your sweep and just keep them out with those buttons now the character, his playstyle, I'd classify him as probably a mixed character slash grappler because that's basically what his game plan is. Um, he's made to steamroll you. He plays aggressive, and he just looks for openings until he can get you in a situation where he just makes you guess pretty much. That's, so that's his whole playstyle. Uh, the variations, I'll, like I said, I'll get to that. But in terms of strings, this is what I will say. Um, his main string, this right here. This is a plus two string. And it guarantees him a down one after, unless you have a six string in which you'll trade. But he can loop this if you're respecting it. And then he can also do command grab after. And let me get to the command grab. This is his main special move, honestly. You want to have this move at all costs. Never take it off. AC Kano without this move is not Kano. You know what I mean? So you want to have this command grab it is a uh, high but if you ex it it does 18 percent and the normal version does 13 gives you okie into a free forward one right there you know with wake up option and all that but you know what i mean um so like i said he's a grappler so he could just loop this if you're respecting him and he has tick grabs as well that one doesn't work but he has like this he has I don't think that way. Yeah, that doesn't work either. I don't play Kano, but I know how to play against him. It's just that. Um, uh, he does have tick grabs, like off down four. Um, and yeah, basically, he's just a command grab character. And then that's the thing. His command grab is the high. So if you're caught ducking, or if you are ducking, you know, you can avoid it, obviously. Or if you jump. But this is basically where his game plan comes intact, is where he does this move. And then if you're caught ducking and then he makes the right read, you know, you eat a combo right here. Now, this is the other special move I want to get to. Uh, Biopo. This is... I, I think this variation on uh, Rocket Run, I think this is the best variation. It's Biopo, the Command Grab, and then Chemical Burn, which is the acid move that you guys 
difficulty a lot. This is um, just, you know, one hit. It is punishable on block. It is minus 14. Um, but it, it's basically a mix up. So if he does that and then you're blocking it, then he can do it down one tick. The, the reason it's not working is because, you know, he's ducking, but um, that's basically how it works. Because he can do that, or he can do down one command grab. Or if you're waiting for that, you can just do a command grab raw. So that's basically um that's basically how the whole thing goes. It's like if you're caught ducking, he can't command grab you, but then he'll hit you with a mid like that. I think the Um What's it called? So you know when the AI is ducking, they're just they're not blocking, but then you have block going. But yeah, his, basically his whole game plan is command grab, board one, and you just he keeps looping it back and forth, and then once he gets a health lead, then he can play, you know, uh, this is projectile, the blade toss, back forward one. Um, this is his main projectile, so he can play keep away whenever he needs to. He acts as a mid, so you can, when you're walking him down, you want to just duck, and you want to block it, the second hit, if he exits it. Um, and you know, with the candle special, he does have a candle ball. So anytime, if you're ducking, just watch out for this. It is punishable completely. The EX version is minus 12. Uh, normal version minus. So he could do it from the air too. That's minus 19. Then he could delay the EX, which will whiff, but you can still punish it. But if he does it instantly, he's still punishable as well. So any cannibal is punishable. Because if he doesn't EX this, you can just react. It's minus 21. So, but he does have this to throw it out randomly. So if you try to anti him, he can do that. Or if you're, like I said, if you're ducking, he could just. It's basically like a fly kick. You just throw it out. Um. But yeah, those are Kano's main buttons. Really, is just forward one, the string. This is like his bread and butter. Like, this is basically what Kano playstyle is. The string, and then mix that up with pokes, down fours, uh, command grab. Like I said, main move. He does have normal throws, obviously. He has th two KB throws, which is, you know, crushing blows on both sides, which is really good. So, anytime you can just grab normally instead of doing command grab, you know, it's still a high. But, you know, if you want... Now uh, mix up slash throw KB maybe loaded you can definitely normally grab anytime. And that's what makes him scary. Just having those options. Um but yeah, that's basically how Kano is. His main plays though. It's just that this string right here, forward one two, back two. And then after that you it's just you know, a loop basically. He either checks you. Obviously if he tries to do this again and then you press, you're gonna beat him out. That's just all you know, that's the whole frame thing. Plus two checks you with a seven frame, so you know you have five frames to press basically. But it's just you know trying to be frame perfect on this for the Kano player is difficult, so that's why sometimes you'll see it trades, etc. Um, but that's basically those are basically his main buttons. And now let me get to the variations. All right, guys, here we are at the variation screen. Um, like I said, there's two variations you want to use with Kano, and these are the two. The main one, like I said, I think you should be using, unless it's a matchup specific, is this is just like the general one I think you should use, is Biomagnetic Pull. It allows you to combo Forward 1-2, his main string as I showed you, and it also is at any time you can do it, so if they're ducking and you pull them, you know, it's you can just get a combo. It is punishable on block, so you don't want to throw it out too much, but... It also is a punish. It's 14 frames, so it's a good reversal. So if something is minus 14 with pushback, it's a great reversal to punish something, which I'll show you as well. Lumber check is a command grab. Like I said, whichever variation you play, I think you should put that on. And this is his main variation that I think you should be using. Uh, his second variation, um, it's the same thing, chemical burn and lumber check, except you use manhandled instead of pull what this does is it basically gives you extra strings and you'll see what i mean by that but it allows you to basically it gives you more mix you know the mix could be a west a bit but it gives you more of a threat off the two four string that i highlighted but i didn't show off too much but i will show you guys that as well um but this is a second variation like i said you don't use this one a lot unless you the matchup specific thing where bio pull isn't really that important you know what i mean but in terms of his main variation you definitely want to use this now let me show you guys the move all right guys here we are back in training mode 
Uh, this is the first variation I just showed you. Um, like I said, biomagnetic pull, lumber check, chemical burn. Um, basically, like I showed you, this is a command grab. It's a high, but it has ticks off of it, and it's just you know a command grab. So if you're call blocking, you will get grabbed, and then to counter, you either duck or you jump. It'll counter both options. Most optimal it is to duck because uh, if you jump it, you can't punish it that, that easy because it does have. You no, know, not it, the recovery is bad, but it's not terrible. Whereas if you're ducking it, you could just instantly react, which you know that's easier. Um, bio pull, that's what I was talking about. It's a mid, reaches pretty far, and anytime you get a combo, um, a, it is punishable on block. Like I said, this is minus 23. So if you do it from here, you're getting punished. Even from here, you're probably gonna get punished, like max range. So it is pretty minus, but what it's good at is good at punishing. So if I play Robocop and I do this, as you can see, I'm minus 15. If he does that, since it's a 14 frame startup, how special moves work is if something is minus 14 and a special move starts up at 14, it'll punish because special moves don't have one frame delay on a reversal, whereas normal moves do. So if it's minus 14, it, it would still punish, but since it's a minus 15, it just punishes. It won't punish him there because it's too far, but if he doesn't EX it, punishable. Another move, if he might do, which is this, minus 24. If I'm like right here, I can't really, you know, it has a lot of pushback, but you can do that. And then get your full combo, basically. But So that's a great reversal for punishes. It's really good against a lot of things like Fujin's Needle, um, maybe Scorpion Spear, stuff like that. You can reversal punish and get, get yourself a combo. Like I said, if they're ducking any time or if they're not watching, they're not blocking, you can just sneak one in there and then it gives you, you know, that's basically, <laughs> that's how you can get robbed, basically. Um, and like I said, Acid, it's another move. This move, this move is mainly for setups and a down one my game, which I will show you right now. So if I put the opponent in the corner, this is the main Kano setup, you will see. He always gets his opening off this, or either a stand one punish, you know, either or, and then he does that. Now, breakaway, this is something I didn't get to. You could break out of combos, but one button I didn't uh, tell you about is back one. This back one is his armor breaker, which basically gives him guaranteed combos anytime he wants it. So if he does mid screen like this, and you break, that's guaranteed combo. Now, in the corner, this is why he can get his guaranteed setups. And there you go. And what this does is, you just guess. Basically, he just loops you over and over again. And while he's he's looping you and making you guess, you're taking incredible damage from that damage. So if I put Robocop's health at, you know, a good amount, like there you go, you will see how much damage this does. And now we put Robocop on block. So let's just say he's. And this is all happening. This is all, you know, he just keeps looping this pressure. And if you get hit again, let's say you get hit again or open up. This has happened. He can put you in the same situation. Even if he doesn't have bar, you know, that's still plus. And then you get, that's how he can steamroll you over and over again. Um, now what's broke about it, this is basically Kano's main setup. If he does this, you know, like I said, they can break. But if he does this arm breaker and your call not blocking this is what happens you'll keep burning basically you'll be put in a loop and then what, what if you're finally respecting him you can command grab and that's basically it you got to guess if he's gonna command grab you or if he's gonna keep looping the fire and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day that's how Kano gets most of his damage he can just keep doing that or if you're respecting him finally Obviously, he's, this is the thing, he's too plus sometimes, where he can't command grab you. So it's easier to, you know, just block. But a good Kano player will just wait it out. And then you might think they're going to command grab, then they can do that again, and then keep mixing you. So that's his main game plan. That's why running this variation is really good, because it gives you, obviously, the combo potential. You know, this is guaranteed, like I said, so it gives you this. And then out here... If you're not blocking, he just keeps looping this. And then if you're finally blocking, get man grab. And then he just keeps looping that. 
and that's basically he just makes you guess over and over again so that's why you want to avoid being in this corner and avoid being in a situation because this situation is where Kano starts to this is where Kano starts to you know play his whole play style and steamroll you um and this is one variation which I showed you now I'll show you the other one and then I'll get back to how to counter these variations uh just let me switch here and we should be good <clears throat> this is the other variation I told you guys about. So, like I said, you still have the command grab, still have the acid. Um, but this is what gets changed. So, you don't have the bio pull anymore, but you get these strings. On itself, this is the string. The string by itself, you can't do it, you know, obviously anymore with the special move. But this is minus four. It does have a flaws block gap though. Which means if they flaws block it, they can punish. It's minus nine. But where the mix up comes is this. But this can be OS if they just, you know, like fuzzy guard it or if they if they go for a flaws block on this string, it'll just OS the command grabs, you know. They're already going for a flaws block. So basically OS is a situation I can show you on the other end. If he goes for that or if he goes for that um i can basically os it i think i just met hold up, i think i messed up oh no i didn't okay so i can basically os it just by unblocking basically i'm trying to flaws block it but it os is a command grab see what i mean and then you can punish like i said you don't have to do that some characters can punish it with a normal button which I'll try to show you like that. So that's where that string comes in. But what it's good for is just range control. But honestly, what this does give you is it gives you uh, your nine frames standing two, which is pretty has a pretty good range if you clip somebody with this. This gives you, uh, you know, like I said, you can still do the armor break anytime, get a free combo. That one whiffed because you just gotta time it. That you know that gives you guaranteed damage, but if they don't break, what ends up happening is you do get a good combo off of this, which is basically his bread and butter, even with uh, the uh, bio pull. And you do that, which you know gives you pretty good damage. And his other one is two two, this one, which is a good side switch. That's pretty good damage, and it's an overhead. Um. And this is just good unbreakable damage if you want it. So like if you land and jump in. And then you don't want to, you know, get them to break. You can do that. But like I said, that string isn't really used unless it's like a round ender. Because you can just do this one instead and then into the arm breaker. So like I said, you don't, you don't use this variation a lot. Unless it's, if you, if bio pull isn't really doing the job. But what it does is it does make this, you know, like, um... It, it's pretty it's harder to set up without bible but what it does is it makes this basically makes this overhead oh yeah i forgot this is the main thing about this variation actually this overhead 25 frames pretty reactable but you could get shimmied by it it has this it gives it a second part in this variation over 14 percent so if you're getting looped by this you know he still has command grab to mix you he can do this and loop that or if you're just blocking overhead that's where he can sneak that low in and then you don't get his old combo um so like yeah this is the second variation you don't use this a lot unless it's a match of specific thing but you do want to use the first one which now i will show you how to fight against it because this is this is where kano this is where kano excels basically now the main thing i want to show you guys this string depending on the character you play this, this string can whiff. See that second hit, the spit? Depending on the character you play, you might be able to duck this. Which means you just let go of block, and that whiffs and you can get punished. I don't know why it's a thing, it's just a hitbox thing, but that's just how Kano's game plan is basically surrounded by. So depending on the character you play, it, it determines whether dealing you know, with this string is easier for you, or is more difficult. As I was saying guys, this is basically where Kano excels. And this is where you learn how to fight him. This is 
these I'll show you the tips on how to fight him I'll show you the ranges you want to play at and I will show you what to do against the character um so he has this forward one string like I said this is his main string knowing how to deal with this this is what will win you the matchup guaranteed so based on your character you can duck this string I don't know why it's like that but for some reason you could duck it so basically like if Robocop if I'm playing Robocop right um and then Kano does a string on me like that some characters I can duck this for some reason it's, that's just how the string is designed like I said this string is plus two it's a very strong last is an overhead but it's a very strong string basically but some characters can duck the second hit which means the spit will whiff if I can I'll basically demonstrate how it looks like so basically this is on block for some other characters but you know I gotta so basically what you do you block the verse hit and then duck that and you get a punish which makes Kano string for the Kano player way harder to do because you can't just keep doing it repeatedly because there is a gap now that people can just duck so what the Kano player will do to counter this is do forward one by itself which is plus one which guarantees him a check but thing is here's where you decide you just want to take your turn or respect the check and then you can respect the check and then take your turn after but it basically makes him from like this overwhelming pressure to just mixing it up with this which is honestly better to just duck this every time because at the uh, worst you're taking is a down one you know what i mean or he could like if he knows that's where the kano player really goes in depth that rec rewind is like probably the best kano where he actually plays this mind game really well and that's where you have to start you know playing around that so that's what they will do to counter this if your character can duck it robocop can't but i'll get to what characters can deal with this easier but that's basically it another big thing that people don't do if he hits you like i said i'm gonna take breakaway off okay this is a setup he does this and then he does that right right here he'll throw it close so that you see how the fire is surrounding him right but this happens this is what happens when the fire hits him directly you see how there's no surrounding fire so when the fire is surrounding him that's why I like 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 right here I do this and then I, I go into acid that's too far but like you know if I do like I was showing you guys if I do this and then I go into acid see how it keeps looping but if the fire hits him nothing happens you know if I do this it's just same situation over and over again now this is the thing when you get hit by Kano a lot of people just like right here I'm gonna record him just doing his combo so this is the main combo and then he sets this up so and then this is where you know you gotta guess now the counter to this is gonna sound weird but this is actually what you want to do instead of just sitting here because this is gonna hit you regardless you know you could block it here's the thing if you block you're gonna get hit into an unblockable because the ass is already on you so that's what happens and then you'll get looped right what you actually want to do is you want to dash into the fire he throws at you you want to dash into this this is what happens see how the see how i dash into it on purpose because you're gonna hit you're gonna get hit regardless so you actually want to dash into the fire so it doesn't do that whole molotov effect and then you get looped acid into acid into acid again and again you know like right here and then you know if i'm blocking basically like the whole guest thing so you want to actually dash into kano on purpose to not be put in the setup sometimes it'll still hit you because of if the kano player spaces it really well uh you'll still be surrounded by fire and have to guess but you you want to do this every time regardless unless you're like mitzgrin and hits you with acid by himself you know then you don't want to but that's basically what you want to do to counter this setup it's a weird counter i know but it's honestly the best option you have just do not guess and then here you just guess between grab and string same thing pretty much um ranges you want to play against this character i will say you never want to be close to him unless you know it depends on the character you're playing um uh, i'm using robocop as an example robocop obviously wants to keep him away that's what you want to do um you never want to play near kano really you want to keep him out because the, the chances are if you're playing close up to him his close-up game is better than yours since he has a command grab and you know all that mixed 
Um, so you definitely want to stay away from him. He does have this one move where it's a roll right here. This is minus 13, but what it does it is it goes under projectile. So if I delay it, you'll see it. See that? But if I block this, either use a mid special move or whatever you have that's like I said, this is on block. This is minus 13. So anything that's uh, any normal that's 12 frame startup or any special move that's 13 frames. Or you can, if you, your only punish is grab, then, you know, your only punish is grab. That's where the character specific thing is. But I need like Robocop's 4 3 is 10. So if I block this and I know he's going to do it, I can just go into a punish. And then this is, you know, that's where I start my pressure. So you do. You do watch out for this because he could throw it out and it goes under projectiles, high projectiles, obviously. But if you're, you know, you can try to bait it and then you know, just like that. So that's uh, also a good move on Kano. Now, this is what you want to avoid being hit by Kano. Like I said, he can do this anytime. When Kano has Fatal Blow, he is very dangerous. Because anytime he does this, he can do this confirm. So anytime, like if you have 30%, 32 and he just hits you with this, you're pretty much dead. And that's a 14 frame and it goes really far and it's a mid, you can't duck it. So you can just throw out this, if you're ducking his projectiles, you can do like that. Or you know, just throw you off. And then, basically you're dead. That's basically what it is. So whenever he has Fatal Blow, he's very dangerous, he can also confirm it off this. He can also confirm off his arm breaker, the one I told you about. That's guaranteed as well. Which you'll see people do when they want max damage pretty much. Actually no, I think Sand 3 is max damage, but that's what they do if Fatal Blow is going to kill, like, you know, without a doubt. But it gets you, like if they break away, it gets you more damage, you know, that type of thing. But his pull in the Fatal Blow is very dangerous. So you, that's why when, if I'm at like, Kano is at like 100%, 10, you know, 10% health, 100%, and then I'm at like 30, 35, I want to be like you got to play cautious. You can't just play confident. You know what I mean? Because anytime you can do that, and it's pretty much game over. Um, and like I said, if you punish it, I mean, if you block it, you can punish it. But that is where the move is dangerous. Now, what you shouldn't do against this character, um, don't let him jump on you. Kano tends to, he has really good movement, right? So like. This is his wave dash. He has really good movement. Just don't let him pressure you in this. This is where, you know, the whole thing with fighting games conditioning. This is where people can condition. Because after this, you know, they can they, they either basically check you with a down one. Which is... It basically jails you. Because, like, if I'm playing Robocop, you'll see. And then he checks me. And then if I try to, you know, mash after this, I'm getting beat out. But then if I'm respecting his poke, that's where you can do stuff like that. So if I'm respecting the poke right here, you know, I get command grab. So this is his basic loop, but this is this is the workaround to this. Like I said, if you can't duck the string, this is what you always want to do. Because there's really no risk. He can bait it. Kano can bait the flaws block, which is what I'm going to show you. But that's where this counters to that option. So whenever Kano does this, as you know, you can you guys can flawless block plus frames. You can flawless block basically anything in this game. When he fall, when he does this, you want to flawless block this every time. Well, not every time, you know, it's a mind game, but basically it'll punish him while being plus. It'll punish him like that. And if you don't have bar, what it does is it limits his turn. Obviously, you can't special cancel all down ones, so you do that and then you take the turn. So this is what you basically want to do every time you block the string. And that is honestly a universal counter. You block this, you falls block this, take your turn. And there you go. And now what Kano can do to counter this, he can do this. He can just loop this, which will beat out your falls block. See that? And that's where the mind game begins. Or he can, if he, he can duck your falls block. Actually, no, he can't because... Uh, no, he can, he can, he can. He could duck your flaws block, so he could do that. And then just wait for you to flaws block. So what will happen is, this will happen. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, And then that's where the mind games are. And then if he's trying to do, you know, if he's trying to counter your flaws block, 
doing this or something. This is where sneaking a poke. Then you take your turn. But that's how you deal with it. It's either really it's either he he down ones and then you falls block his down one check, or he does a down one and check you and then you just poke. Now poking is honestly the least risky because if you poke, all that happens is you're taking another poke. Like he's just checking you with a poke, which is like three percent. Um. So that's why poking is like the least risky option. And it falls while also not as risky because you can OS it. But that's based on the mind game. If he's gonna check you, you try to falls block. If he's, if he's not gonna check you and you know, then you just sneak in a poke. Take your turn. Obviously, he might try to falls block, so just delay your mid and all that. But that's basically how you fight against him if the string hits you uh, on block. You either wanna falls block or you wanna poke. And just play, keep, you basically keep playing that game of chess. And sometimes it's in your favor. Except if the string whips against you, which it does against some characters, that's where it's in your favor instead of the other character, uh, instead of Kano. And when you're countering his main string like that, then that's where it gets tough. And you can also duck OS a lot of his ticks. Like if he does, if he does this, um. Like I said, this is a plus. It's not really duck OS, it's just flaws blocking. But you can OS that. And if he does the string, what happens is I flaws block the string, which I can up to. You know, that's basic. And then just doing this in neutral will actually get you to duck the command grab. Anytime he does a command grab and you read it, just take your punish. And like I said, you can jump it. But it won't give you as much time to punish. You can do like, you can do a jump kick, obviously. But, you know, if you try like duck OS here, it'll OS it. Like that's your command grab. Stuff like that. That's how you basically counter him. But the main counter I want to show you guys is that string. You either want to flaws block it or you want to poke. And then you just keep playing that game of chess, basically. And like I said, poking is not that much of a risk. All you really taking is a check into the same situation over and over again. And that's pretty much what Kano struggles with. It's just his plus frames not being guaranteed. That's pretty much his biggest struggle. Which, you know, sucks, but <laughs> this is how it is. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you play against Kano. You just want to stay out of his range based on the character you play. Obviously play your, play how, you know, your play style, play your game plan, but you... When it comes to guessing like that, like I said, dash into the fire so you don't take that whole mix up. But at the end of the day, it's, it is still a command grab. It is still a mid, and that's still you know that's just still a game of chess which you have to play. But that's just grappler characters in general. But that's how you can minimize his mix and steamrolling basically. So I hope that helps you guys out. And now I'm going to be showing you what characters do good against him. All right, guys, we're back with uh, you know character if you guys know me then you already know which character i play in this matchup so it's not really a surprise uh now the thing i was telling you the ducking thing johnny's luckily for me you know i'm happy about it one of the characters that can actually duck this string so if i record kano doing the string to me you'll see what happens so when this happens and you can duck the string easily you know, it really sucks for the Kano player, but hey, I'm you know, that's just how the string was designed. It sucks, but you can just duck that, get a full punish every time. Like I said, the counter of this is that it's like if you you know ducking after this. <laughs> that's basic but what's worse you're taking is two percent. And if you know he's gonna poke, you just block the poke and then take your turn. So the mind game is heavily in your favor actually. So when you conduct the string like that, it's really good. Now, Johnny, with me, with this character, you know, my playstyle is to keep him away, keep him out with my buttons, anti-arm when he jumps, just keep him away and just, you know, abuse him with my force ball and my button. That's basically how you play the matchup and just get hits whenever you can. But I do want to avoid the corner against him. Obviously, when he's cornered, you know, take my, because you know how Johnny plays. He's a neutral heavy character with projectiles and he wants to get you in a corner. But with Kano, you don't want him to get you in the corner, so it's a weird thing. You just want to keep him away. And I think Johnny beats him, actually. I think it's 6-4. So if you play Johnny, I think he's a really good pick. I will go to more characters for you guys to play against. But this is what I was talking about. If he does this, because my force ball is a high, right? So if Kano does this, 
to counter my force ball, which he will. Now, if I block this, this is why I was talking about character specific punishes. Johnny does not have a button. This is 14. This is 18. This is 14. You know, this, these are high, so they won't punish. So Johnny does not have a bun. He can punish with DP, obviously. But he doesn't really have any strings that he can punish with. Obviously, I can punish with a poke, but you want max damage. So Johnny can punish with a grab. But the most common move you want... This is the variation you want to rock against Kano if you're playing Johnny. That's not really relevant, but you want to rock Nut Punch because Nut Punch starts up at 13. Like I said, special moves don't have a delay. So it's minus 13, 13 frame startup. That's your punish every time. So I can bait it like that and then get a free KB because that's basically what the KB requirement is. Um, so you do want to bait out this move just to make sure it doesn't roll under you. Like I said, I already showed you the string is really, you can counter the string really well. Um, and But this is what I was talking about for Kano, what he could do if Johnny does a forest ball here, which is minus four. But if I do like, what does Johnny have that's minus? Johnny doesn't really have anything that's mine, but anything, anytime I'm blocking with Johnny, if I get scared, actually no, this is what he could do. He can, if I do this and then block, like you know the whole fly kick thing that people do where they duck projectiles and then punish, this is what this move is really good for. So if he ducks that, instant punish. That's why you want to be careful. If you EX it, it'll OS. I mean, you, doesn't, you can't get punished if you EX, but when you EX, that's where you open yourself up to, you know, that's why you want to be careful. Cause he can't punish this like if he tries to punish right here he does get wait well, gets a trade combo oh, that's pretty broke <laughs> I, I actually didn't know that but you gotta be like precise with your execution here and that's why like if kano is just waiting for this you know because he has to be in a certain range like if he's just waiting for that then you know that's that's basically why you have to be careful with johnny but I think Johnny's a really good character in this matchup. You just keep him out, you can duck his main string. And like I showed you, the balls block thing, if he does a string on me, you know, the whole combo. Uh, 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 uh. And he tries to do a setup, all I gotta do is dash forward and then I won't get hit by the acid. I, I won't be put in a bottle of fire. All right, there, See? that avoids it. And um, what else? I think that's pretty much it, yeah. That's basically how you counter him. It's just that string. Once you put a stop to that, that's where his whole game plan gets more difficult because then the he is just a command grab character, but his pressure isn't as good when he can't maximize that string's potential. Um, and other characters, uh, I I can give you the matchup chart. I'm not sure, but I've played Kano. I've played against Kano enough to know how he can struggle. I'll give you the characters who can duck this string that I'm pretty sure. Some of them I might miss, but these are the ones I'm. Like fairly certain on. Um, Garrus can duck it, a hundred percent. Johnny can duck it. Joker can duck it. Uh, I think some of the females can duck it. Blue Kang Jills, Gunlao Jills. I think it whiffs on isn't. I think it whiffs on himself actually. I've heard that it whiffs on Kano himself. So Garrus can duck it. Joker, Johnny. So any character, uh, obviously, you know, you guys all have your main characters. So I would recommend playing the character who can duck the string because that'll make it way easier. Trust me, if you don't have to deal with this string looping you, it's way easier to fight the character. And that's like a guarantee. Um, But yeah, that's I. I and in, in a matchup where he beats you, you just got to play your best. Keep playing that chess game. You know, if like if Kano 6-4 is your character, Keep playing. I always recommend play a 5-5, five five, you know? Don't play for pride. Play f if you actually want to, you know, keep competing. If you have a side character, I'm not saying you pick up another kid, but if you have a side character that can duck the string or those 5-5, five five, definitely recommend those type of matchups. But if you have to play a 6-4, just play patient against him, whatever your game plan is, based on the character you play. Try to play your game plan, but remember his strengths. He has the pull. He has the forward three, which is the low roll, which is punishable. And just keep playing that mind game with his string if it gels on you. And you just gotta play patient, keep him out, play your game plan, and don't get hit by, you know, cannonballs and stuff like that. One, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So I guess to sum it up, like I said, this character is really strong in terms of steam rolling you. He, he's a grappler, so basically what you are going to be doing most of the time is guessing between command grab or strike, you know. Um, but I showed you how to deal with his main string. His main string, once you put a counter to that and you start conditioning the Kano player in your favor, that's when you'll see the matchup becomes easier. That setup he does, always want to dash into that because you don't want to be put in that guess scenario. Trust me, it's not fun. Um, that's how Kano can steamroll you. And just, like I said, watch out for random bio pulls. And I'd say he's actually just a robbery character. Like, Kano wants to rob you is basically what he does. He wants you to put you in situations where you just have to keep guessing. So, you just gotta play your game plan. Try to avoid the situations as much as possible. And then when you do go, when you do get into those situations, um, I hope I showed you guys how to deal with them. Um, and yeah, if you want to watch... Out of uh, what a good KMO looks like, I'd recommend Rewind. He's the best KMO free, in my opinion. So definitely watch him if you want to see how KMO plays at a high level. And if you want to watch Counter and KMO, uh, I'm not sure. Watch Rewind again and just, I guess, see how people play against him. I don't think I've played Rewind KMO in tournament at all. But, I mean, if you can find casuals or something, then... That could help, but definitely Rewind is the Kano to go to, and that's how you play against character. He's really good and really oppressive, but once you learn the matchup and you learn what his tools um, lack in and what you can counter them, that's how that's how it's, uh, it's easier to fight him, and it becomes, trust me, way easier to deal with him. So as he's very oppressive at the start. But the more you learn how to fight him, he does, he's not as oppressive, but he still makes you guess. I mean, he's a grappler. I don't know. I hate grapplers, so. That's just me, you know? You guys like grappler characters? By all means. <laughs> but I hate guessing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you once again to Dash White for inviting me to do this. Um, it's been really enjoyable. Hope you guys learned something. And like I said, if you want to check me out on Twitter, it's at CombatNY. Uh, Twitch, same thing. Combat New York, NY, basically. And I hope you guys enjoy. And stay safe. Much love as always. And peace out, y'all. Yeah.